are here at the 2023 Florida Masters Lake Fairview. Um, lots of competitors. It was uh, they're well run run races. Uh, a lot of people there. There I didn't get a lot of video of the different twos and fours and things like that. But uh, we got some good interviews. Hope you enjoy them. And that uh, one of the things it's com continuously said. That's my uh, shell there. With uh, there was <laughs> a lot of people bring their animals. This was a really nice dog that was running around the, the property. But you, one of the things you hear from all the competitors is how open rowing is for new people. So you shouldn't be intimidated. You come out and enjoy it, and you'll be welcome. What is this like? This is like Fairview. <laughs> Well, we're here at the Florida Masters, May of 2023. We're here with Leon, and obviously you can tell Leon stays in shape. <laughs> Leon, what's your age, Leon? 64. 64, and you just won the race today. Yeah. Uh, Leon, we just like to ask people about how, in this case, rowing has enhanced the quality of your life by you know, maintaining health and fitness and other things you might do besides rowing. I largely defines me. Um, yeah, I, you know, fitness and pushing, having something to really test my limits. Okay. Um, which is what this provides. Um, I was a uh, ran track in college, high school and college, and um, then I was a competitive slalom water skier until I got beat my body up. Oh wow! I used to slalom. Oh yeah. 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 I was speed skier in California, where you go from Long Beach to Catalina. Yeah, I've heard of those. So crazy. It, that beat the heck out of my body, yeah. and um, so I had to find something else that would be vigorous but wouldn't be so catastrophic. You yes. know, ripped body parts. So <laughs> um, I got into rowing, and um, it reminded me a lot of when I was running. The, the physiology is very similar, and yeah. the, I love being in a race, looking at your competitor, looking across six lanes, and everyone's neck and neck, and wow. it, the last 200 meters, and it's you know, who and that who's going to hurt the most? <laughs> yeah, who wants it at that point? But there, but there's something almost, um, almost spiritual about it. Yeah, the last 200 meters when because everyone's hurting. Everyone's in the same place, but you're pushing everything to that limit and you almost go into another dimension. Yeah. It feels like to me. And then after the race, having the camaraderie and the fellowship with those guys that you just did that with. <laughs> and you all shared that experience. And I just I love that. And that's a lot of what in between races, you know, I maybe race once a month. Um, it just motivates you to 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 do that. And do you mainly race in Florida? Um, kind of all over. Um, um, I've gone as far as Chicago uh, for Chicago sprints and um, out into the Midwest and all, but this time of the year mostly in Florida. Yeah. What would you say to those people watching this that don't have an activity and are intimidated? What would you kind of encourage? Uh, well, I would say specifically about the rowing is it's a really welcoming community yes, it is. that um, if you want to be competitive, there is that. If you want to come out and just experience the joy of being on the water and being three inches off the water and therefore almost part of the environment, yes. there's that. And um, so there's room for everybody and you don't have to be at the top of your game to enjoy it. You can yeah. You can go out and just... Just the joy of doing it. And those herbs, they're a oh. <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Don't even talk about those, right? It's a necessary evil. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I herb when I have to, but I don't like it. It's tough. It's just flat out tough. I tell people that it's the best, in my opinion, the best machine for overall training. Oh, it is. It is. And, and, and I'm grateful that I have access to an ERG when I can't get on the water. Yeah. Um, but the same workout on an ERG, for some reason, is a whole different thing than the same workout on the water. Yeah. <laughs> Just hurts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but it does. You know. Well, Leon, we uh, anything you want to say to those people out there that are maybe a little intimidated? Uh, just to. Um. Yeah. D don't be intimidated. 
um, as I mentioned, it's such a welcoming community where it, it, most, you know, rowing is not, high-end rowing, you're not going to make a ton of money. You're not going to achieve the same status that you would, say, in other sports. So, therefore, even the Olympic guys are so approachable. Yeah. And they take as much joy in seeing a novice who's just out there learning and someone who's now graduated from a training boat into a racing boat. They're just as thrilled about that as they are some high-end performance. Yeah. So it's all relative, you know. Yeah. Success is success depending on how you define it. Yeah. And Leon, we like to ask people about uh, what drives you. Is there a spiritual belief, anything that helps you get through the daily grind? It, yeah, I mean, it. Um, there's definitely a spiritual component to it. Um, I feel more connected to... My spirituality is very um, kind of amorphous. It's not tied to any one religion, but I am definitely a believer, and I believe that I'm closest to God when I'm on the water, pushing my limits. I don't know what it is, but it's like it, it's a portal into another dimension that happens when I am really up against my limit. Yeah. And um, being out there in one with nature, um, seeing the morning come alive and you're three inches off the water and you're stroke for stroke as the, the birds are flying right alongside you and uh, there's just something very centering about that and that's where I feel the most at home and the most like me. Wow, that's great. That's perfect. Anything else you'd say to that person out there watching this? Um, you're, man, you do it. You're welcome. Everyone will put their arms around you and walk you through it. And just, um, it, 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 you, yeah, don't deny yourself this privilege. It's, it's wonderful. Wow. And it's, and it's great for masters people, older people, because it's not, you're not pounding anything. You're not hurting anything. You might get an overuse injury if you're really training hard. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Great. Well, Leon, we appreciate your input, and I'm sure it'll, you know, motivate some people to get out there and do it. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Thanks. It was great meeting you guys. Uh, we want to thank you for watching RedefiningAging.us. I'm John Distradick, your host. And our goal for the series is pretty simple. We just want to enhance the quality of people's lives. So if you know of an event that you think would... Uh, be one for good good for us to cover please fill out the form on our website and not only the event and what it is where it is when it is and uh, if there's a person you know that you think would be uh, a good person for me, us to do a testimony on in some event please let us know and if you want a fuller description of my testimony you can either go to johndistradick.com and look under ministry or you can go here at redefiningaging.us we appreciate your viewership god bless and hope to see you on more shows